on the extreme left, Zoe Hobbs of New Zealand. Kambunji, we've already seen Jason Joseph give the hurdle field a really good run trying to defend the home soil. She's the world indoor champion. And of course, our featured athlete Talu. Here's Demps of the Ivory Coast, like Talu. She'll start in lane one. She has silver medals from Worlds. From Poland, Eva Svoboda, now 25 years of age. Lifetime best this year of 11.03, teasing that sub-11. Daryl Nida is equal 12 fastest in the world this year with that 10.97. You see her personal best, 10.90. She's one of those athletes that has gotten everything she can, I think, out of her talent. You mentioned what it means to run on home soil. Gina Lukenkemper ran on home soil last summer at the European Championships and came away the European champion. At 34, Talu is having arguably her best year, certainly through June. Undefeated world lead. Life is good for Talu. Well, the crowd will get excited for Kambunji's introduction. Twice an Olympic finalist in the 100 and the 200 meters and fifth in Oregon last year. The world indoor 60 champion from last year. Hobbs had a good world championships last year including setting an oceanic record. She's 25, and her personal best was set this year, 10.97. And Amani Lansico of Great Britain gets the final introduction, like Nada, been part of the quartet of Great Britain's very talented 4 by 100 meter relay squads over the last few global championships. High above look now of the eight lanes in the women's 100 with all eyes on the 34-year-old Marie-Jose Talou in five. Remember that we are in Lausanne, which means that there is just a slight amount of altitude that helps the sprint times. So Talou is putting her undefeated 100-meter season on the line here in Lausanne. Hush over the crowd for the women's 100 meters. Set. And already out well in lane five, Tolu. Ava Sabota had a good start, but now Tolu in full stride and in full control of this race into a slight headwind and still runs a very confident 1087 unofficially to women win the women's hundred. I remember how quiet the crowd gets in Lausanne. You have to love them for that. But Talu keeps it going. 1088 despite the headwind. And it's looking like the next challenge she's going to get, Paul, is going to be the World Championship rounds. Because there's nobody that's had an answer for her in the Diamond League circuit. Nita gets closest with 1107, but that's not really close. And Kambunji was never able to mount a real threat as Talu once again romped to victory. And this, the script has pretty much been the same, Paul, and that is she's fourth from the left here. Great start, accelerate away and create some distance, and then just hold on. And she's been holding on really well. In fact, she's pulling away here at the end, which is testament to how well she's run 200 as well. And Otto, an athlete that everyone can cheer for, has been just on the outside of major global championship podiums, fourth in Tokyo in the 100, fourth in Rio in the 200, fourth in Rio in the 100, fifth in the 200 in Tokyo. This is her breakthrough year, potentially. And don't forget this. If she has a better lean in 2017, maybe Tori Bowie, rest in peace, is not the world champion. So she knows what it's like to be almost there. Maybe this is her year. Tolu celebrates the win in 1088.